everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, if ever there was a time for revolution, it's right now. The rich control everything and the rest of us are screwed and the problem gets worse every day. Now, it used to be that rev revolutions were violent and bloody affairs. The people would rise up, storm the castles and the mansions, they would kill the lords and the ladies and the aristocrats and plunder their possessions. Now, it is possible that something like that might happen today, but it's unlikely and it wouldn't accomplish much. The wealthy are way too well protected and they don't keep their wealth in their houses anymore. The next great revolution, if it's going to happen, will be a hack. A massive worldwide hack. It will require extensive preparation and complete secrecy. The hackers must ferret out the secret bank accounts of the extremely wealthy, like the 400 richest families here in America, the Russian oligarchs, the Arab oil sheiks, the kleptocrat governments that are scattered all over the world. And, of course, the most powerful and wealthy corporations. They can use the Panama Papers and the Paradise Papers to guide their search. Now, it's probably impossible to find everything, but I'm sure they could find a whole lot. And then at a certain time, they would strike, draining the accounts of the wealthiest and transferring the money into the accounts of the working poor, the middle class, charitable institutions. Not a shot would be fired and nobody would need to die. But the world would be changed in a most profound way. The poor and the middle class, of course, would get a big lift and charities would have a lot more money to do their good works. And even though it is not possible to render the rich totally destitute. A massive amount of their wealth would be gone and with that the power that they use to control the political process, the economy, the sources of information and everything else. And we the people would finally gain a say in our own destiny. Thanks for listening.